Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from VitalCoaching.com. I'm having my morning elixir. It's about seven in the morning right now here at VitalGate. And uh, the topic for this video is what is Vital Tantra? You know, in, the, in my Tantra tribe here, in uh, the Tantra community in general, you will notice that when you ask this question, what is Tantra, you will get hundreds of different answers. Everybody has a different opinion about it. If you are an Indian guru living somewhere in the Himalayas, you will give a certain answer. If you are a Tantrika born in California, you will give a different answer. And uh, it goes from uh, Tantra is a set of uh, beautiful um, sexual pleasure enhancing techniques. Uh, that you can apply in your life. Uh, somebody else might say, oh, Tantra is an old tradition that was born in India 3,000 years ago. Uh, Tantra is a set of sutras that was written by some sage in the Himalayas. Uh, Tantra is unlimited. Tantra is limited. Tantra is that tradition. So, you know, all that is good. Uh, why? Because we are in the mind uh, there and the mind will give certain colors to certain things and describe things in its own way. So everybody has a different opinion and that's great, that's fine, because that's the diversity of human existence. And if we were all saying the same thing, life would be boring. So uh, the good news is that you can choose. Uh, choose whatever explanation works for you. Uh, another teacher of mine was saying Tantra is, uh, means tools for the mind. You know, uh, it's uh, the word itself, when I, for myself, when I think of the word Tantra, for me Tantra simply means uh, teaching. This is the, I would say, the, the, Sanskrit the Sanskrit translation that I feel is, seems to be the closest to, uh, to what I, I experience myself. Tantra means a teaching. So eventually that word teaching became a set of techniques, very specific uh, set of practices that are connected with the Indian tradition. Eventually the, the Westerners went over there, grabbed that stuff, isolated it, created their own little thing about it, or a very big thing, and um, now the, the word Tantra is very much, very, very much associated with sexual practices uh, with the touch of sacred sex, um, you know, the dimension of divinity is uh, very present there. Um, yeah, that's, that's a certain explanation. Now, the lineage that I started, or the, the tradition that I'm focused on right now, which is my own interpretation of all this exploration, and the result of my 25 years of in-depth spiritual exploration, I went to the Himalaya, stayed in ashrams around the world, spent long years in intense spiritual training and practices be too long into my to go into my history but i want you to know that i didn't start yesterday with that i read my first uh, yoga book when i was 12 and then i engaged into uh, martial arts and studying kabbalah different teachers i stayed in monasteries around the world in tibet and then in greece and ashrams and spiritual centers and uh, then one day when i went to the himalayas you know, in some cave, in some remote cave, close to a place which is called Satopant, close to Badrinath. <coughs> I climbed to a place which is called also Svargarohini, which means star, star, um, staircase to heaven, which is where one of the uh, last Pandavas from the Bhagavad Gita was um, died, uh, and he ascended to heaven. So I went over there, and uh, heaven appeared to me. Um, you know, literally, I felt like there was this fear of beautiful energy. And uh, I thought, wow, this is amazing. I, amazing. I'm at the source of the Ganges right now. And uh, I, I felt that I experienced the, the very source or the very essence of yoga and Tantra. And uh, it was like a, an unlimited energy potential, formless. No forms yet. It's like before it incarnates and it becomes this given tradition, it's like just a space formless. So in that space, uh, there were no swamis, there were no teachings, there were nothing. Just pure unlimited energy. And if you ask me what Tantra is, that's what Tantra is for me. It's this unlimited field of 
energy. For me, when, uh, when I think of Tantra, it's not a set of practices, it's not a set of traditions, it's not sort of a set of beliefs, it's first something that is unlimited. And then, my own mind, the, my own filter of my own personality is going to take that energy and then interpret it and channel it in a certain way that becomes what I call Vital Tantra, which is my own interpretation and my, my own thing. The original term that I had was Rajaya Tantra. Rajaya is also the name that I adopted, which means victorious fire. And um, eventually I, it started evolving. And because I have also the brand Vital Coaching for a long time, and I've been using the word vital for, for about everything that I do, this is Vital Gate. Uh, you know, I'm vital coach, <laughs> uh, I have vital food, vital mind, uh, vital body, vital money. So um, all those different branches eventually, you know, meant that the word vital tantra seems to be the one that is the most adapted. And it's also because uh, from a Western perspective where I'm mainly teaching right now, it's, uh, it makes sense to use the word Vital Tantra. So Rajaya Tantra, Vital Tantra is the same thing. They merge. It's just two different words to say the same thing. And uh, for me, here we go, Vital Tantra is first, I mean, Tantra in general is first a sphere, uh, an unlimited field, intelligent, okay? It's conscious. It's not just a sphere of just uh, static energy. It's conscious. It's intelligent. We're talking about uh, an angelic, space intelligent or god-like or goddess-like energy and then <clears throat> the, the the path of vital tantra that incarnates and that i'm a filter for i'm a channel for that energy right now uh this specific expression for myself what vital tantra is for me it's a complete path of life mastery you want to master your life, you dive into Vital Tantra, which is like a river, a network of energy, and it takes you eventually to life mastery. What is life mastery is that you feel like you're in charge and control, that you, that you uh, have a sense of ownership and mastery over the different aspects of your life, which are relationships, love life, sexuality, all that. That's branch number one. Branch number two has to do with your body, that's branch number two, so body nutrition. Branch number three, it's the mind, emotions, thoughts, feelings, your inner game, what's happening inside of you on a subtle level. Branch number four, it's everything that has to do with material power, with financial freedom, everything that has to do with money, mastery, finances, etc., and uh, creative uh, career, all that, business. And the fifth branch is the spirit, which is basically everything that has to do with connecting with the invisible and feeling really connected with the planet and, and humankind. So those five branches, those are the five ones that I'm using and that I identified. And uh, again, if you want to remember what I'm doing, what is it that Shiva is doing in his life? What is it that I'm transmitting everywhere? Vital Tantra is a complete path of life mastery. That's it. Somebody asks you, please say simply that. That summarizes it all. It's a complete path of life mastery. It only took me seven minutes, eight minutes to get to that. That's your answer. May your day be filled with love, light and beauty. I'll see you soon again. Bye bye.